the Aquedome here at the Los Angeles Equestrian Center. We're fortunate enough to have the Equestrian Center here this evening for the second lesson in the Polo Basics series. This lesson, Polo Equitation. The Aquedome is the home of High Goal Professional Arena Polo, as well as the Los Angeles Polo Club and many of the horse shows and world-class events that are held here at the Equestrian Center each year. After our short presentation of short working a horse, we're going to move on now with the second horse to start really showing you some of the basics as far as positioning, aids, and the desired responses you'll be looking for and the cues to get those responses throughout this evening. The first thing we're going to start with is basically the proper way to mount a horse. I see many players getting on a horse really without being in control. We're not going to really go over any of the tack or equipment in this tape and even the earlier basic steps or fundamentals of equitation I'm going to go over pretty quickly because I assume most of the people watching this tape have probably had a few years of riding under their belt already. But it never hurts to review some of the basics as we go into some of the more complicated moves that you witness earlier in this tape. To mount your horse properly, you first always want to have the horse in control. It's nice to have some assistance, but normally a horse, as long as you keep them in control, even if it's walking around you in a circle, to where when you go to get on, you have the horse in hand already, or in rein. I see too many people getting up on a horse with loose reins. You also want to make sure your girth is tight, and once you tighten that girth, make sure to walk that horse forward a few steps, just in case they might be a little cinchy. Cinchy means if you tighten that girth up and go to get on, they may wind up running over backwards with you. So always take that extra little precaution of walking forward after checking your girth. So foot in the stirrup, stay alongside the shoulder of the horse, and ease into the saddle. Try not to throw yourself down into the saddle. Especially in the winter time in some parts of our country, if you throw yourself on a horse who's a little cold back or just out of the stall, it could be a rather interesting experience. Now we're going to go to the dismount. 